make a video for you guys today about how to hit a high ball on the backhand side. You know, the famous high backhand. Two ways to hit it. And uh, I've gotten some comments on that um, video I made on the air backhand. So I decided to approach it uh, with a little more technicality here and explain to you guys a little bit better how this shot can be, you know, useful in your game, when to apply it, and, uh, and how it works. Of course, you can have the one-handed backhand or the two-handed backhand, so there's two different ways to do it. And I'm going to try to break them both down for you real quick so you guys have a good idea how it works. Then you can go out there and practice yourself and see if you can include this shot to, to your arsenal and uh, just have more, more options in your game, all right? All right, let's get to it then. Okay. Let's go back here a little bit. The basic ways that you take a high ball are three. These are the most common three ways that people do. You take the high ball with a slice. It's easier to cut it and get under the ball that's up here than it is to come over the top. That's one way you see it done, you know? A lot of players slice it. That's a lot. Also a reason why a lot of times the one-handed backhanders have a better slice, high backhand slice, than the two-handers that don't slice as much. They take advantage of having a two-hand and they can take the high ball up here with, you know, with no problem. Now we one-handers have a little more trouble with the high ball because of the leverage. So there's a lot of cutting going on on the high balls. Another option is that players that want to really hit it, they back up to let the ball drop to their wheelhouse so they can then hit it hard. And of course, the best way to handle the high ball is to not let it be high, not let it climb up too high, which would be to uh, try to take it on the rise, which is what you see the pros doing, good players trying to do, you know, college players. But, you know, tennis universal sport, some people playing out there from 4 to 90, once a week, once a month sometimes, not everybody has good enough full work to take the ball on the rise. So that's why a lot of people up for buying a little time and letting it drop like that. So I think it's wrong to say that this is the way you should do it. There's different options. Now, a fourth option that is pretty fun to do, and if you're athletic enough and you can trust that you won't get hurt and twist your ankle or something, one way to handle these high balls is on the jump. Something's been going on for a while already on the two-handed backhand. Nowadays, a lot of, of, of pros use the shot You'll see Tsonga doing it, you'll see Gilles Simon doing it, you'll see Andy Murray doing it, you'll see Nadal doing it, you'll see most of the two-handers know how to do the jumping backhand. One-handed backhand takes a little bit more effort to do it on the jump. There. But yes, I have seen a video of uh, you know on YouTube of Amelie Moresmo hitting one. And um, I've seen Richard Gasquet hit a few. Actually, I've seen Moresmo hit a couple of times during a match. So, uh, there are a few pros that are athletic, and here and there find that in that particular situation, why not? It's an option they have to try to put something on the ball, even though it's a little bit above the comfort zone for good leverage. So, I guess the best thing I can do now is give you guys a little breakdown on each one of them how to do it, how to prepare, how to jump, and how to hit. And if it's up to you guys got there that far. start the preparation. You've got to do both at the same time. So if you're a two-hander, at the same time that you coil your upper body, rotate your shoulders and bring the racket back, at that same time that's when you jump on the right foot. If you're a right-handed person, going that way of course, to hit a right-hander's two-handed backhand. It's on the right foot that you jump to hit the two-handed air backhand. Quick analogy, it's the opposite to basketball layup. When you do a basketball layup, it's the left foot that you jump on. Basketball layup, left foot. Air backhand, right foot. 
Opposite foot. So here we go. Getting ready to high ball, comes deep, jumps up with a lot of top spin. You jump on the right, preparing it with the left leg lifting up like this, just like if you were marching. So you're jumping on the right and lifting the left forward here for balance as you prepare. In the air, as you swing, you're going to kick this left leg backwards and land on the same leg you jumped. Keep this in mind. Two-handed air backhand, jump on the right, land on the right. same foot. Here as you jump. The drill exercise I'm doing just the first part. Prepare as you jump. This way. Put the leg forward, rack it back, hip, kick the back the leg backwards. This part, this part. Let's go back and put it together. Go here, jump on the right, kick up, kick back. Always landing on the same. Good for a shorter ball too. You can go forward here and attack it even. So that's how it works, folks. If you're a lefty person, and you'd be going the other way. I'll do it here so we fit it in the camera better. You'd be jumping on the left leg, lifting the right up, and landing on the same one as you kick this one back. So it'd be looking like this. Time. Lefty person, two-handed air back in. heavy spin and I was always chipping always laying going back trying to take them on the rise the best I could then all of a sudden one day you know I, I played a lot of volleyball in Brazil volleyball is big and I just decided to jump and try one and boom I hit a hard shot I got that high ball that was up here around my my, my eyesight you know my head here down to my waistline and that felt good and then deviling with it I felt like well High backhand, if the person is staying back, is one thing. You now, for me to jump up here and hit an efficient high backhand shot jumping, that is going to be hurting the opponent that is back there. It's not the best idea. A lot of times, your opponent hits a high deep shot into your back and then comes in, for example. Then you got to come up with something, don't you? You got to do a passing shot or a lob. You got to come up with the goods. That's when it might be fun to try just get off the ground and hit one by him. And, Maybe that can become a passing shot. So on the one-handed breakdown is a little bit different than the two-handed. Because the two-handed jump air, 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 air backhand shot, you jump on the right and you land on the same right. So it's just a one-leg scissor kick here from the left leg going up and then backwards. Up and then backwards. Up and then backwards. On the one-handed backhand, you jump on the right you don't land on the right. If you try to do so, it looks like this and weird and funny. It doesn't work out. I've tried it many times. See, if you jump and land and you're hitting, you, you will fall off balance. So the best way to do it on the one hand, it is for you to jump on the right, the same one, but you land, scissor kicking, the left behind first, and then the right in front. Do it slow. You're going to go here here. Now as you hit in the air, you scissor kick and exchange. So this is the shot for one-handers in the air, like this. Boom. Look again. The progression in the here. Jump, scissor kick land. Of course, you're going to try to get up a little higher and go like here. Boom. So by the time you're hitting, this ball is down here now. One more last time, guys. One-handed air backhand. 
Jump on the right as you prepare and coil. Kick this forward. And as you kick this back, land on it. Instead of landing on the same right one like you did on the two-handed. Which is here. Wow. One more last one. Ready. Boom. Somebody said, how about power? Well, if you're running backwards here, you're not going to get so much on it, but if you're sticking in diagonally here, oh man, I'll tell you, I've ripped some cross-court passing shots by people and left them looking at me like, what was that? That was just a fun shot. Of course, it's not the basic shot, but it's just a different gear to have in your game. It'll be a lot of fun for you athletes out there. Cheers, go out there, have fun. See you soon on another video.